Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today I wanted to do a video review for the Greenworks 1600 PSI pressure washer. So this is definitely a lower end pressure washer, but so far I'm actually very impressed with it, and I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna go through, I'll show you how to set this up, show you some of the attachments, and then we'll do a little demo here as well because I do actually have it plugged in. So um, in terms of getting started with this, um, they do have a little quick start kind of picture guide here on the top, but I do recommend going through the instruction manual. Um, you have a carrying handle here on the top. There's actually um, a piece here in the back so you could hold accessories or um, run you know any of the different things that you want through here it actually shows you on the back it has a little holder here for the um for the hose um, bucket, there's like basically a little soap bucket that it comes with for the pressure washer. So you could actually attach this to the back and just have it um, held on the back there. Now on the left side, this is basically where your hose attachment goes. I have a pretty heavy duty hose here plugged into this and this is actually running pretty far from the connection. So um, this is actually running all along my driveway here, going all the way across, coming out of a spigot down there. So I'm still able to get plenty of pressure even with this long distance travel just due to the fact that this is powered by obviously electricity. Um, with the electric part you basically have a pretty long cord and this is obviously a huge help if you're doing something like washing a car. Um, I have this running all the way down this path here. Uh, my wife was doing some painting projects and I have it plugged into an extension cord I have hanging over here. So it's pretty much about hitting the maximum capacity where I have my car here just pulled into the driveway as close as I could get it allowing me to kind of walk around it with the pressure washer. I do have to pick it up with the handle and kind of move it about. Um, you know, if I'm going to do the front of the car, I just move it to the front. If I do the rear, I bring it over here. And overall, it's been working out pretty well. You could always get an, uh, an extension cord and run it that way, which technically I have down there, but I've got some other stuff plugged into it. Now, you also have in the front the main connection for the actual pressure washer gadget itself. Um, I haven't had too many issues with this, although just like you would any hose, this can kink up and it's probably gonna take a little bit of time. As you can see, it's sort of twisting up on me, and I did have a few issues with it kinking while using it, but it's pretty straightforward. You plug your hose in, make sure you have water coming in, wait about 30 seconds, and then you just turn this dial from the top here over to the right, and it's basically good to go. So as soon as you hit the trigger on this, um, this is the main gun. This actually has an attachment point here. So all this does is basically twist off. It's very easy to remove. And then you also have the end pieces here that you can put on. You've got a 25 degree um, attachment and then also a 40 degree attachment. I actually had a little bit of issue um, figuring out how to do this, but um, looking in the manual does describe it. In order to do this, you basically just have to push this entire piece down. It doesn't spin. It actually just pushes down. And then there's little divot metal pieces here on the inside that clasp onto the actual attachments. So this is one of the um, smaller attachments. This is basically gonna give you a smaller arc, whereas you also have a uh, 40 degree arc um, that's basically built right in. So when you're done with these, you simply just put them back into the side of the pressure washer and you can see it's labeled 25 and 40. So I did the 25, we just finished actually washing the car. Um, it does also include a uh, soap bucket. So I used my Meguiar's car wash here, filled this about halfway. And then I attach this. This doesn't have like a super high powered um, nozzle built into it and you can't swap this out. This essentially is just gonna get the soap all over your car very easily. And it actually worked quite well for doing that. So I completely sprayed this with soap. Um, then I added the main uh, part of the gun here and this is pretty straightforward. Um, you just pull the trigger when you're ready to go. Um, right now there's actually water going into the pressure washer and as you can see, there's nothing leaking or anything like that. When you're not using this, you can actually take this piece and flip it down on the trigger here and this will kind of lock it so it's not gonna get used or pushed accidentally. So it's kind of nice they have that. But let's go ahead and do a little demo here. Um, we'll just spray the side of the car. So as you can see, the arc on that's pretty good, very tight. Um, you can really hit you know, some of the dirt spots. And um, yeah, when you want, obviously you can switch out attachments and add the soap as needed. And overall, I'm pretty happy with it. It works well. And I think if you're just looking for a basic pressure washer, maybe doing something like, like I'm doing here, just washing a car, this is going to be perfect for you. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video review. Hopefully you found it helpful and I'll talk to you later.